Okay, hey, Mont Dan here, I'm back home now after a very successful hunt today. Now today we're gonna to show you some things about cleaning pheasants. And I'm gonna do it uh, as completely as I can. Now, I don't know if you've ever made soup stock, but I saved the thigh bones for soup stock. And to make the cleaning a little easier, I take a pair of diagonal cutters here, and I cut the lower part of the leg off where the skin is. Now, laying the bird on its back, I grasp the breast skin here and pull vigorously to the bottom here. Throw that in the bag, in the bucket, uh, which you can't see, but that's okay. Now, ha. Huh. And sometimes you'll have a little problem getting the skin to come the way you want to. So I just take my knife, cut that skin, and vigorously pull it down and right off into the bucket. And the same thing here. Okay. By the way, these are real fat hens. They have been eating well. Now, when you've removed the bottom part of the leg, then the whole skin pulls right off real easily. Get the feathers out of your way. Push the thigh away from the body, and sometimes you'll hear it pop as that joint breaks. Make your cut here. Pull it right off. Removing the feathers, whatever you think about it. As I said, pull the thigh away. You feel it, hear it pop. Take your knife. Cut the meat away from the joint. And it pulls right off. Again, if you remove the feathers now, it saves a little time later. Now again, uh, some people don't like the fat. Lay it on its back. Take your knife, in my case, this is a silver stag made in Oregon by hand. Slice down along the breastbone. Now I take my thumb and I pull the meat back away. Now we have a nice piece of breast meat. Goes in the feed bowl. Now I might add that this silver stag, uh, I purchased it two years ago. And I couldn't begin to count the amount of birds that I have dressed out. And this knife has never been on a whetstone. It just amazes me the quality of the knife blade. Cut the meat away from the bone. Get a good grip on it. And sometimes you get a separate one there. Now, we have a nice piece of thigh meat. And the rest of this is just bone and very little meat. So I put it in the trash. Now we have a thigh and there's two ways that we do this. We find the joint. Right. 
Now, if I was just doing for my food stuff, this would go in the bowl as it is. Then you can cook the thigh. This piece, you either cut the meat off and boil it or whatever because it's got so many tendons and things in it that it's not pleasant to try to eat. Now, a lot of people I know, they'll take this little bit of thigh meat and they'll boil it up and feed it to their dogs. And since, uh, now, can you see these tendons here? Can you see these here? Okay. That's why this is so hard to eat because the tendons, of course, when you cook them, get very hard. This meat, thigh meat, you cut it into little smaller pieces and you, well, my thing is a crock pot and I put celery, white onion, and potatoes in with it and then my broth and it makes a really good meal. Uh, friends of mine call it gumbo or slumbo uh, but it, it makes a really delicious meal. And what I like about it, if you're working stiff, uh, you can uh, get all your ingredients ready the night before, slap it in the crock pot, take off to work, come home seven hours later, eight hours later, and you've got a ready-made meal.